Despite the horrific events that happened here on Sunday morning, the members of the Centro Cristiano de Colombia Church say that their faith is not shaken. Instead, they're praying for both the victim and the gunman. One never thinks that that is going to happen. Jeremes Perez says he's still shocked by what happened on Sunday morning. A gunman entered the Centro Cristiano de Colombia Church, shooting and injuring his brother. At the moment, we don't know anything because I just got back from the hospital and they took him to the operating room. 23-year-old Esfin Perez is in critical condition, having problems with his respiratory system and his intestines, and he'll be in surgery tomorrow. Perez says on Sunday morning he saw the gunman sitting in a car just before he walked into the church. I passed by here and he, the gunman, closed his trunk and he went back to sit in his car. One or two minutes after I was inside praying is when I heard him, the gunman, kick the door and the shooting started. Pastor Henry Alfaro says his congregation is shaken up, but he knows good can come from this. We think yesterday was a miracle. This person obviously had the intention to do a lot of harm, and he couldn't carry it out. He walked three meters, and then something stopped him. We felt God protecting us, that he was showing us something. Pastor Alfaro says they are thankful no one else was hurt. Tonight they will hold a prayer service here on Decker Boulevard at the church. And again, anyone with information about what happened on Sunday is asked to call the Forest Acres Police Department or Crime Stoppers at one triple eight crime SC. Reporting in Columbia, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX. Lauren, thank you. So the church where the shooting occurred is located in a very busy area. Forest Lake Elementary School is right around the corner and Dent Middle School along with Richland Northeast High Schools are less than a mile away. Decker Boulevard is a diverse area known as an international boulevard with many internationally themed businesses. And Columbia Mayor Steve Benjamin weighed in on this over the weekend saying he's sick and tired of gun crimes across the Midlands and the state and the nation. He went on to say that he's thankful for incredible law enforcement but says we must all do more to put an end to this nonsense.